Welcome to TMC Newsroom. This is Carl Ford, and I'm here with Rajiv Kamani, who is the VP General Manager at Cavium Networks. And actually, it's networking and communications is the overall group that you manage? Yes, I do, yeah. Yeah, so, so let's start with the easy question. Tell us about Cavium, what you guys do, and who you are. So Cavium is a leading provider of multi-core processors. We do SOCs that go into a variety of embedded applications. Uh, these go into networking equipment, wireless equipment, storage equipment, as well as in video equipment. And uh, the company has been around for about 10 years. We are publicly traded on NASDAQ. Uh, we have over 200 OEM customers. That includes all of the tier one guys in this space. People like Cisco, Juniper, Huawei, Alcatel, Lucent, Samsung, Ericsson, and the like. Yep. Um, and we have a, a number of products that, uh, uh, you know, that address a broad range of these applications. Okay. And um, you mentioned earlier that, that if I were using my iPhone, if I was using my wife's iPhone, that probably I'm um, touching Cavium at least twice in, the, in that AT&T network. Is that a good, good assumption? That is, that is a reasonably good assumption. So what we do is our processors, one of the product lines that we have is our Octeon multi-core right. uh, product line. Uh, that is designed into um, about half of all of the 3G, 4G um, boxes that are out there from people like Nokia Siemens, Huawei, Alcatel Lucent, you know, Samsung, right. etc. So when you're doing data access, you know, you're going through a base station and you're going through an aggregation device that's sitting yep. behind it. And those pieces of equipment from our OEM customers actually use Cavium Octeon processors. Got it, got it. Which brings us to the question about how are service providers using you, which we've kind of answered, but let's elaborate a little bit more. Who's your customers and the service providers and what's, the, what's their number one driver for putting Cavium in? Yeah, so service providers, uh, in, certainly in the wireless space as well in, as in, in the wired space, use Cavium processors uh, through the equipment that they buy from our OEMs. Um, so specifically, let's talk about the wireless space and why they would consider a, a product that includes a Cavium processor. So what we did about three years ago is we saw that mobile data was going to actually become very big. And what we saw was the existing products really weren't addressing what the mobile equipment required. So we put together a, a completely new kind of product that combined multiple types of chips into single chips, control processors, data processors, services processors, into a single chip, right. made it programmable using C, C++, standard-based programming languages. And we added hardware acceleration for networking and security. Okay. Okay. Now, what that allowed our OEM customers to do is really bring the cost and power consumption down substantially because right. the number of components went down. Right. They were able to increase the performance uh, because of all the hardware acceleration. Yep. And as a result, meet the requirements, you know, the increasing data requirements that the mobile network has. So that's really one of the big value propositions. The other thing is because it's completely C, C++ programmable, they can add new features much quicker than they were able to previously. Got it, got it. Now, we mentioned earlier that one of those places is aggregation. And right now, one of the big things is cloud computing and associated with uh, mobile meeting cloud. So tell me about how you guys uh, interface with cloud computing. So cloud computing, with the rate at which data is increasing, has a number of challenges in front of it. Uh, if you look at it, first is, you need much, much higher data throughputs. You know, previously people used to talk about 10 gigabit and 40 gigabit, but that's finally taking off in volume. That's okay. number one. Second, security is very critical because within the cloud data center, you, there's different users' data, different companies' data, and that needs to be protected. So you need encryption, authentication for that cloud data. Third is virtualization. Again, right. because there's different corporations' data, you want to make sure that it's completely isolated relative to each other, protected relative to each other. And finally, because of the data throughput increasing very fast, you want that pipe to be utilized extremely efficiently. So data needs to be compressed. You need to have WAN optimization techniques. So what we've uh, done is our products really address all of these requirements. Uh, for security, if you, uh, I, we spoke about the right. iPhone, but today, if you're doing an HTTPS transaction on the internet, chances are it, it is using a Cavian chip on the okay. other side. Whether it's an Amazon, whether you're logging into Yahoo through secure email, we are the number one provider of security processes in the okay. world. 
uh, in terms of data throughputs, we have our Octeon Plus and Octeon 2 families that are able to go up to 10 and 40 gigabits and even higher okay. in terms of the data throughput. In terms of virtualization, what we've done is within our chips, these are multi-core chips, we enable the capability to partition these chips into different virtual domains and applications can run across these domains in a completely protected and isolated fashion. Very important. Uh, and then lastly, in terms of compression and WAN optimization, we have hardware acceleration within our chips that really reduces the, the data throughput necessary to transfer the data. So overall, we have an extremely compelling solution for all of the cloud computing environments. Got it, got it. And, that, and that's valuable to the mobile operator as, as the more delay that's in the network, obviously, the more it translates into what happens with the handset. So Ab it's very absolutely, logical. Absolutely. And so what you can do is you can handle our service providers can handle a lot more handsets, they can handle a lot more users, all within the same system, using the same pipe that's coming out of the data center. Sounds great, great. Thank you so much. Really Thank you so much, you. thank you for your time.